Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy. And, uh, you know, this week, and really the weeks leading up to it, it's been a very tense time here in the United States. Uh, the battle over health care has really heated up. And, of course, Congress passed a health care bill. Uh, and the president signed it, and it has, uh, it's really divided our nation. And even Christians, it's divided. And I want to remind us as Christians that we may agree or disagree with the president and with Congress. But the fact remains is that they are God's ordained leaders. Uh, that is not a question. Uh, uh, the, the Bible has uh, commands us even. The Apostle Paul commands us to pray for our leaders. He even said, honor the emperor. He was speaking about the Roman emperor. And uh, when Paul wrote about praying for leaders, he was talking about praying for those in the Roman Empire. A very corrupt, evil empire. And we as Christians must beware of getting too much heavily involved in trying to change our country through politics. I, I, in the end, in the end, folks, uh, this country, the United States, uh, is our temporary dwelling. It's not our permanent dwelling. Uh, and many Christians have hurt their testimony in politics. What are we to do as Christians? Well, we are to pray for our leaders. And not just for the ones that we agree with, but even those we disagree with. We need to pray for God to give them wisdom uh, to watch over them and to convert them to Christ if they are not saved. So at this time I want to have a time of prayer for the President of the United States and for Congress. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who does from thy throne behold the dwellers upon earth. Lord God, you are the ruler of the universe, the all-sovereign of all nations, ultimately. And dear God, I ask you to behold and look down upon this country, the United States of America. Lord, for your servant, President Barack Obama, the President of the United States, I ask you to give him wisdom to rule. Give him wisdom in every area to make the right choices. Use him, Lord, as your servant. Bless and protect him and his family. 
Grant him health and prosperity and long life. And Lord, if he knows you not as Savior, bring him to faith in you. And dear God, I, I lift up to you Congress, both the House of Representatives and our Senate. Be with our various representatives in Congress. They need your wisdom. They need your guidance. Give them that guidance. Give them that, uh, Lord, the, the right reasoning when they make laws for this country. Help them in every way. Let them always have the best interest for our country and for the people and not for their own interest. Bless their families. Bless their lives. And for those who know you not as Lord and Savior, even now, Lord God, convert them to Jesus Christ. And may our President and our Congress be the leaders that you would have them to be. To be men and women of character and servants of you and of this republic. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.